Hello everybody! It's time for everyone's favorite video of the month, our flip through video. This is the last flip through video of 2019. I have not started planning for 2020 yet in here really, so uh, this is all just your last chance to see everything from my 2019 setup. So I'm still, or I'm back I guess, this month I'm back in the uh, ochre. The, uh, this is a Filofax Malden in the size pocket, and then the color's ochre. Uh, last month I was in my stone. I've explained why I, just for color reasons, wanted to move back to that, but now I'm back in the ochre for this month, and I'm loving it. Just something about this color makes me really happy. So you will have seen these in, I believe, this last Sunday's, no, Sunday before, uh, my Christmas setup. So I've got some pretty Christmassy decor going on in here. Um, let's start here. I temporarily, temporarily misplaced the pen that I had in here. Um, so today I'm using this guy. It's just a ballpoint. Pretty little, um, kabuki character on there. Anyway, um, it's fine. It's a ballpoint. I'd rather use a gel pen, but... And the front, uh, the zipper pocket doesn't have anything because I don't have any change in here. Um, but that's where I would keep change. The front has my driver's license and my number one credit card. The second one, as always, has um, this little washi cutter card with some scraps on it. I usually keep some page flags in here, but those are with a book I'm reading right now. Um, then back here I have some Target gift cards that I still have not spent. I keep forgetting they're there, but that's fine. And um, then we'll skip to the back. I still have this little bow clip. It's not doing anything except looking pretty. And then this guy was also from that Christmas plan with me video. Um, my little washi wrapper uh, bookmark thingy is just laminated and it has all the colors of washi tape that I am using for this month. So just whenever I am out and about and I want to decorate a spread, sometimes I want to work on my um, week plans for the next week and I want to make sure that I have room for the, you know, little washi embellishments. I'll do that first and I have it with me so I don't have to, um, you know, be at home tethered to my desk. Nothing in here today. In the back are the same stickers that I keep in here. Um, I have a coupon that I need to use. And I've got, uh, let's see, a 20 and a spare check. Nothing groundbreaking. All of these stickers are from Twin 16 and one from Planner Key. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back in place. Kind of leave them to one side or the other. They don't fold too badly. And then this little pocket back here has more Planner Key freebie samplers. And then let's go back to the beginning and start flipping. Uh, these dividers, I don't think I actually got a chance to mention in that video because I was fast forwarding that um, this little set of these card stocks I just got from Michaels. Uh, I got used a coupon, so it was $2.50. Not bad. And I liked that besides having like these, you know, fun ones that I can use for my planner, it also has some here that I'm going to chop up and use as uh, cards or not cards, like tags on gifts. So you can put, you know, to or from or whatever on some of these or on the back of them. Put a couple of those. Here's another one. Yeah, to from. Perfect. So I'll just have to cut these up. I think that's it. There's just the two. Oh, no. There's some back here as well. So I thought that was cute and useful for two fifty. So we've just got the cover here. Then our monthly setup features the same context list as usual. This is a My Summer Touch monthly. It's brand new. I think she just released it last month. Um, so on this side we have um, events and tasks. And then the idea is this is supposed to be a tracker and it's labeled 1 to 10 on the top and you would put the, ta the, the key for your tracker here. But I haven't decided what, if anything, I'm doing with this 1 through 10 here. Um, It'd be useful if I was like, I needed to do maybe 10 transactions on my debit card. I used to have to do that to get a certain bonus to our um, interest rate and that kind of thing would be useful here. But alas, no more. Different program now um, than a little mini monthly. Then on this side, I don't know what this is designed for. Um, but what I have it as is what I'm focusing on in the morning. I spend an hour in the morning working on stuff for my channel and whatnot. Um, and so I accidentally slept in yesterday. I'm filming this on the 5th. This is my focus goal for the month, which obviously is just Christmas prep. 
Um, and this is really not something I'm referencing a lot, but there you go. This is what your typical week looks like, and then there's a, a little bit of space for some bills. Here's my bra tracker, uh, where I just track, you know, which bra I'm using so I know when to wash them. I've done a video on that. I'm not going to link it. You can find it yourself if you're interested. This is my NFP chart. And then this is also from my Summer Touch, also new from last month. Um, it's the All My Routines insert. So on one side, you see here your daily routine. Here's like a checklist of, you know, in the morning I do this, in the evening I do this. There's, uh, it doesn't say AM and PM, you can put whatever you want there. Um, and then you've got a 24 hour um, routine here. So I can put like, I sleep from 10 to, four, to five and then I work, like I said, on stuff for my channel for an hour in the morning, then get the baby ready and then tidy the house and then go to work. That's the plan anyway. And this is just nice, instead of using like a tracker, which I feel guilty if I don't keep it up, this is just like, if I can't remember like what I'm supposed to be doing early in the morning when my coffee hasn't kicked in yet, I can go like, oh yeah, I need to do a load of laundry before I go to work. And then I do it. Um, I, I do want to remake this, like fill it out again, um, make it maybe slightly different. Um, because like this video production thing, it's not, it's not really a schedule. I don't do it the same way every single week. So, uh, I need something different there, but I do do one load of laundry per day during the week. And then this is exactly the same as with the monthly, but there you go. I remade my waiting on list and it is now blank. Um, the someday maybe list I remade last month, so it's nice and tidy, doesn't have any superfluous tasks anymore. I think I uh, did this little header cover um, after I filmed the plan with me. So this uh, is the weekly that I'm using this month. I just went ahead and printed out enough for the whole month. Um, like I've been doing and having them all kind of folded together. I kind of like that in my archive to keep it all together. Um, so this is the Grid Lovers Weekly from My Summer Touch. It's brand new from her new release November. So it has the same little hourly um, weekly schedule thing, which like I don't use this. I have it in three different places, but anyway. Um, I decided to use this section for tracking my sugar intake. You can see it's not great, but I'm trying to watch it. My goal right now is just to keep an eye on it, to track it, to get an idea of where I am right now. I'm very slowly making some very tiny baby steps towards diet and health. Um, like 10 crunches, that's all. Anyway, that kind of thing. Um, up here is dinners. And then this is my to-do list with little Alistair. I think the idea is that this could be a tracker if you wanted that much to track. Really, I do it as an Alistair weekly. Um, and then over here is where I have all of my um, video production and blog posts and stuff um, for what I want to work on this week. So these are the two videos for this week um, and then a couple upcoming ones. So this is the one that I'm doing right now. Um, and I just wanted to get it like filmed this week. So look at that. Done. Since I filmed this video, this will have been last Thursday's video. So you saw me decorating this. Um, the, the business trip that my husband was going to take this week has been rescheduled to next week. So as you're watching this, he may be out of town. But um, yeah, so I just slapped a little rescheduled sticker from my Happy Planner stickers. I'll never be able to reuse these little planes though. Oh well, I never thought I'd get to use them in the first place. So I have more blanks in here for the rest of the month. Um, at some point I want to make a video about how I printed these. Um, the idea was to not waste paper and then I did it wrong and had to start over. So I wasted a lot of paper, but um, basically I have this new strategy where I can like just print half a page of something. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, I will definitely be working on that. It'll come out in the new year though. Um, these little sticky notes, I don't think, I don't remember if these had come in by the time I filmed my flip through last month. These are the one and only Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes and I love them. I just got one pack of these um, dailies and so I've been using these whenever I need a daily. I feel like I want to have a list for that day or I have a complicated schedule, one or the other. And so I just have it on a little sticky. I only need it for that one day and then I can toss it. So that's working well. This next tab is like projects, right? So I have in the front here a uh, table of contents for the section. 
But even before that kicks in, I've got a shopping list and a packing list um, for this evening and for tomorrow. Um, so they're just somewhere I handy next to a tab so I know where to find them. Um, I've got a two organized. These have not been worked on. I really need to do something about that. Um, these are the same from wherever. I think I had this one already last month, but I'm not sure. This is just some notes that I'm taking about inserts that I need to print before I do my 2020 setup um, that I'm going to be using. So I need to start printing those out, but I have not yet. And by the time this video comes out, there will already be a blog post about my feelings on that. So you can go ahead and check that out when you're done watching this video. Uh, these are these these are my least of uh, dinners that we often like to make, and so I will either just roll a die to pick one through twenty, or I will just pick something that looks good. This is just kind of jogs my memory and gets me thinking, like, oh yeah, let's just do you know buffalo chicken potatoes. Those are like a favorite in our house. Then this section is for all of the MH stuff. Nothing has changed. And then the next section is reference, mostly. I got this new in the Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, Black Friday sale as well. And I used all of these little stamps I got from Starving Artist Stamps on Etsy. Um, and this is just notes on the Team Tom, like uh, the organized mom method. Um, I try, I try to stick to this, but really most days I don't even feel like I am able to. Um, but when I'm feeling motivated, this is how I try to keep the house tidy. Um, by picking a, a room per day and you can check it out. It's the organized mum method. M-U-M like British. She's British and most of the people who follow it are. Anyway, library books. Um, this video from last month I made about the Captain America book. I've now renewed it the third time. No, we're on our third checkout. I've renewed it twice and I think I'm just going to keep renewing it until I can't anymore because she still really enjoys that book. So <laughs> probably ought to get, a, get her a copy for Christmas. Uh, some things that I want to watch. These are the Christmas movies I want to watch. Thank you to, uh, I should have made note of who it was. Someone in the comments of the last video, you know who you are, thank you, pointed out that the Santa Claus is actually on Disney+. Plus. I didn't realize it was a Disney movie. There you go. Um, so it is available to watch. And then I also just googled Die Hard and it turns out it's on Crackle. You don't even need to sign in or have a login or pay money or anything. You just Google Die Hard and the very first listing is for Crackle and you just watch it with ads. So I still haven't seen it, but I'm going to. This is the year. Gift ideas for other people, wish list for me. And then these are all of the um, the planner spot uh, gift list printables that I've been showing you in the last few videos. I am so behind. As of filming on the 5th, I have not done any Christmas shopping myself. My husband has. He's gotten some stuff online. I haven't even yet, and it's starting to weigh on me. Um, I really feel just lately like I haven't had a chance to sit down and do a brain dump, and you know how that feels when you need to do a brain dump, but you haven't had the time? So that's where I am today, but at least I'm getting this done. I'm not falling behind my video schedule, as you can see here. Um, these are when blog posts are coming out, videos and Instagram posts. And so I schedule my Instagram posts, um, for a week in advance. And I will tell you about the software I use to do that and everything else that I use. All of the free resources that I use for my YouTube channel, my blog, my Instagram are going to be in a, um, this, this one here. It's going to be a YouTube video and a companion blog post. I'm going to dish everything, give you all the links. So look out for that on Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe to my blog if you don't want to miss that as well. Um, or subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, if you're new, my name's Rebecca. Um, these are tasks for my channel. Um, and then these are like notes on goals for my channel. But I'm going to skip through the rest of this section because I did an okay job in last month's video of um, like showing you how that looks and I didn't want to cover everything up so I'm just skipping it. Um, this next section I'm finally on a new inbox. Um, the last one finally got filled up and so that one was all scribbled in red. This one she has blue. Um, my daughter really likes my planner and she loves coloring. <laughs> She's 17 months old now um, and so she wanted to help me out with my planner so I let her scribble here and she only did the corner. It's really tasteful I think. This is like 
yeah, top level art. This is my used up now uh, future log. It's all in the past now for 2019 and I haven't taken it out yet. Um, but then this is for 2020 and I haven't made a new one because this is from the yearly bundle and my MO is to wait until the Black Friday sale comes around to get the yearly bundle because you got it like, was it 50% off, right? Um, and this one is a little bit more expensive even than the smaller ones. So uh, that's what I did. I have it bought now. I have not printed it yet. So I'm still on this little guy where everything is cramped. And every time I think I have room for one more plan in January and then I really need to move. Uh, this is my birthdays and anniversary spread. It's moving with me to the new year. Recurring tasks is almost full. I'll need a new one. And I want to find a way to see if I can make it look a little bit less messy. But I only have to look at it once a month, so that's fine too. And then the very last tab is just for some spare paper. I have a couple sticky notes. I have some grids. This is a Peanut Planner Co. grid. Yes, those both are. Um, I'm trying to use up my My Summer Touch ones because I have a whole bunch of extras um, because like the right side of the Mun Weeklies is a grid page and I'd never use it and so I have a whole bunch of those. Um, I have two jot pads and then some spare stickers and a couple cards in the back and that's everything. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know guys below. Have you already planned for 2020? Or does your planner currently just live in the present like mine? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.